Alright guys, so this video is going to be on the water kit and this is kind of adding to the fire kit. So once we've got fire established and once we've got our uh, body core temperature regulated, we're not dying of hypothermia and that sort of thing, we've got to stay hydrated, okay? So primarily what I would want to do is... Uh, my primary use for getting home, say a natural disaster or uh, some sort of terrorist attack or something like that were to occur, and it just so happened to be in my local area, and all of a sudden, well, maybe it's like an EMP or something and our vehicles don't work, and I gotta hike my ass back to my house. So, uh, my primary source is probably going to be this filtration bottle from Sawyer. It has a normal uh, mini filter in there and it also has a syringe for cleaning and that sort of thing. Um, but, and the reason why, and I have not used this yet, and the reason why is because uh, I want to keep it as clean as possible uh, and I don't want to use it until an absolute emergency happens. Uh, but primarily, I just want to be able to stop by a lake, a lake or a stream or a river, uh, grab some water real quick, fill this up, and then be able to filter it and drink some water on the go. Um, from that, if I didn't have semi-clean water sources to get from where I could just grab this stuff and filter it and be on the go... Um, or if it was really cold and I had the potential of, and this is a very important thing that was brought up by the gray bearded green beret is that, uh, these filters, uh, they're designed to filter down to like one micron or some, or point one microns. And, um, if you use the filter and you get water and you saturate that filter with water, and then the temperature gets low enough that it freezes that water in the filter, there's potential that it can crack that filter and crack open the uh, pores in the filter, um, those really microscopic pores in the filter, and expand them wide enough that now there's a potential for bacteria and viruses and toxins and stuff to get through the filter, and you would have no idea that that was actually occurring. Um, so... In that situation, if it got that cold, um, this is one of those things. It's like, okay, if it's really freezing outside, like I would say below 20 degrees, I would not want to use this just to, and 20 degrees is being kind of, uh, kind of liberal. Actually, I would say if I was a little more conservative with it, I would want to use it below 30 degrees, uh, just for the purpose of not cracking that filter and potentially exposing myself to toxins and bacteria and stuff that could be life-threatening. Now, um, primarily, if I'm really not just got to have water right now, uh, primarily I would want to boil water. So I have this simple Stanley two-cup cook set from Walmart. They're like 12 or 15 bucks or something. Uh, this is like a $20 bottle. Um, but with this, I can uh, boil water, and it's got two, uh, I want to say they're like nylon or some sort of uh, synthetic material that is really heat resistant and stuff. But they've got two cups in there that come with it that I don't really need, but the, the main single wall stainless steel thing is cool for boiling water in. Um, and boiling water through heat... Uh, Treating water with thermal, you know, purifying it that way is probably the most effective way to go anyways. Um, aside from that, I've got purification tablets if I don't have time for that and this filter's cracked. I can put one of these in water. Now, the real downside to this is, is these are really formulated and specifically sized for putting in exactly one liter of water. Um which they would probably work in a quart, which is almost one liter. Uh, a liter is 33.8 ounces and a quart is 32 ounces. So 
you could potentially get away with using this in a court but they are actually designed to be used in a liter and this does not hold or at least it, it measures up to 20 ounces there so i'm probably going to be looking at a single walled stainless steel bottle that holds one liter or at least close to a liter this the one thing i really don't like about this bottle is you can turn around and you can notice that there is no measurement scale whatsoever on this bottle so you really don't know how much water you put into this thing and then once you stuff the filter and the straw and all that into there uh and displaces water and whatnot you really don't know how much this is actually holding so that is the one thing i do not like about it it does not have a graduated ball it does not tell me how much water this thing actually holds so that kind of is a big problem if you're using this because if you don't use enough water with this it can be this itself is toxic or can be toxic or uh uh, damaging to your body and if you use too much water this can get too diluted and lose its effectiveness at killing bacteria and stuff inside the water so this is one of those things where i really don't want to have to use this unless it's an absolute emergency uh, i'd rather go either with the boiling or with the filter um, before i had to dip into this but i keep these anyways just in case um yeah so this is the water kit for now uh you may have noticed i removed the other sawyer filter that i had that actually had come with a bag and another straw and whatnot and that is because i kind of felt like it was just a little you know this is my get home kit and having like two water filters may be a little excessive it it's not that pertinent to me it's not like i've got you know a hundred miles to go to get home from where i work but uh on foot um realistically as long as it wasn't in the dead middle of summer and it was 110 degrees outside for whatever reason or as long as it wasn't dead middle of winter and it was zero degrees outside where i live which is like the two extremes of the area is like during the summertime we may get a handful of days four or five days randomly that it gets up to 100 plus degrees um and then in the winter time we may get four or five days uh or a week where it actually gets down to zero degrees uh but that's very rare in the region of the country that i live in um uh so i really don't think that i need two filters of water or four water and so i've just cut back to just the bottle out of convenience i am looking into the grail uh system which does measure an exact amount of water and it's a press filter and you can replace the filter um what i don't like about the grail is that the filter you have to replace it more often than with the sorry what i don't like about the grail is that you might have to replace it more often or replace the filter more often than you do in these these are supposedly rated to a hundred thousand gallons of water but i assume that is if you clean your filter uh properly after each use of it and that sort of thing um so in a real shtf situation uh that filter may only be useful up to a thousand gallons of water because you might not get time to really clean it the way it's supposed to according to the instructions uh just want to put that out there it says up to a hundred thousand gallons of water but you know that's a very specific scenario on how to clean that filter you know and that sort of thing so I know this is kind of getting a little drawn out for just three items but they're really important items and um it's important that you know how to use each one and to make each one work for you uh, beside that uh adding to the fire kit which you know uh, having something to char tinder in which i'll get into in a different video i'm not gonna really go into that right now but the single walled stainless steel cup is pretty awesome for that 
Uh, but like I said, I'm going to try to find me a 33.8 ounce or one liter single wall stainless steel water bottle. That's really what I would like to have in my kit besides this. Uh, if I could get one of those, um, I could probably do without this. And that would make me feel a lot more comfortable with using these, knowing that I can properly measure the amount of water that it takes for one of these to work. So that I'm not using too much water or I'm not using, you know, make sure I'm using enough water but not too much water. Uh for those to work because they're pretty specific on there there's some pretty big warnings that come with the package on that making sure that you know that hey you need one liter of water no ifs ands or buts about it if you don't have a liter of water or if you have more than a liter of water this may not work right and there's going to be adverse effects on either side of that so filter uh, is a good thing to have inexpensive from walmart potentially 100,000 gallons of use, uh, potentially infinite uses for this, um, as far as how much water you can boil in it, and then uh, it, I've got like 30 of these, two, f maybe more than that, maybe 60 tablets for six up to 60 liters of water I can purify there with those, uh, given that I can actually measure my water correctly, so... I just wanted to leave you guys with that. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments below. If there's some things you would do differently, I would love to hear about it. Um, again, with my kit and the way I, I want to do things, these are all ever-changing. None of this stuff is set in stone. Like, I could change to a different purification tablet, or, like I said, I want to change to a different container for boiling. And I may want to try out a different filtration system in the future uh, as I have money to do so. So these are not things that are like, this is the only way I'm going to do it uh, from here on out. That's not the way it is, and it's not the way it should be for anybody as products. Uh, and, you know, as products, better products are developed. You should take advantage of those. There's no reason why anyone shouldn't. There's no reason why anyone should just get stuck in their ways about this kind of stuff as far as being prepared for the unknown. Um, you should be open-minded to changing uh, and using better stuff as, as it arrives. Uh, you should be open-minded enough to learn more skills or better ways of doing things and that's just what I want you guys to know and what I want you guys to do and research uh, so anyways stay safe out there we'll see you next time in the next video thank you for watching see you later